Hello everybody, this is me and my unboxings and fun here today. Today I'm going to have a, a, a unboxing of a quite of a device which I haven't actually made before on the channel. So this this brand actually is called STK. It's a released, uh, a newly released brand in the UK. Um, it, it is actually, I've never heard of this brand actually before. Until I was browsing uh, for a website and I was like, okay, well, it's pretty, it would be pretty cool if I actually made a video, an unboxing of this device. So I thought of getting it, uh, making an unboxing and stuff. So that's why I actually purchased it. It's called the STK Life 8 in black, purchased from the car from warehouse for £94.99. So the, again, link will be left down below to go to purchase it and stuff like that. So STK Life 8, 8, 8 gigabytes inside, pretty cool. UK, so it's designed in the UK and it includes a free clear protective case apparently. Uh, so you can see the other box is just it's very plain. It's like a it's like an Apple iPhone sort of style box. So you say it's stklife.com. It's STK security seal. Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Quite an actual, actually quite an old Android uh, software in there. So hopefully there's an update available to Oreo or something like that. But let's just see. Uh, and obviously all the IMI information down below there. So it basically just tells you all the key sort of specifications on the bottom uh, side of the box here so it just says that it has a 5, five inch uh, screen which is full HD uh, it has a 2.5D glass, it's IPS display um, 13 megapixel rear facing camera, autofocus, flash 5 megapixel front facing camera, 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor 8 gigabytes of ROM, 1 gigabytes of RAM uh, up to 32 GB micro SD uh, expandable storage, 2100 mAh battery, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, uh, no NFC actually, which is quite disappointing again for the price for what I paid for $94.99. But hopefully, uh, the other specifications will outweigh that and make me change my mind. Be like, okay, well, even though they don't have this and that, I will still say purchase this device. So let's just go ahead now and unbox this device. I don't know why this camera, why the light lighting suddenly went dark, but let's do something. Okay, alright, so uh, I'm just going to show you now inside the box. So I don't actually have my unboxing knife, I have this knife, which you've probably been seeing for the past year or so of my videos. But I'm planning to get an unboxing knife soon, so sorry about that guys. So I'm actually going to unbox this now very nicely. Um, not in a, okay, I actually unblocked, broken the seal as well, but let's just take this plastic wrapping off. Again, like an Apple, it's like an iPhone, I'm, I'm unboxing an iPhone with this plastic wrapping and stuff. So let's put that to the side. Um, ATK Life 8, okay, unbox here, take this off here, whoop, whoop, here, and then let's just see uh, what's inside the box, so we'll just take it out, as it is, uh, 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 uh. there we go, there's the device, okay, so, STK Life 8, cool device, let's just see what's inside the box, okay, so we get the device here, STK Life 8, okay, and let's just see, so it comes with this sort of wrapping. I'll come back to this later. Let's put this aside. Uh, actually, so inside the box we have this thing here, pretty standard. Have a clear protective case, as it mentioned. Probably because there's not really uh, STK branded cases out there that are manufactured in large quantities. So that's why they probably included one in their box for you. Uh, they could have also included a screw protector if they were that nice, but I don't know if they would. Uh, but we have this. Uh, Adapter here, so it just says it's an STK branded adapter. As you can see here, everything manufactured in the UK. Uh, again, just a, a traditional push and pull sort of mechanism there. Uh, we have this again, it's like a Samsung sort of box, if you can see, or an iPhone mixed with an iPhone and a Samsung. So that's why I think. So again, we have this, there's no point in me opening it. You know what a micro HDMI cable looks like. Now, if you want me to open it, I will. So let's open it now, and I'll show you how long it is. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, micro HDMI cable there, so you can see. Again, you should know how a micro HDMI cable looks like by now. Okay. Um, again, earphones. Not happy. I'm not happy. Uh, yes, it does have a volume rocker. Uh, yes, this and that, but the earphones are tacky. We've got another tacky earphones in our in our collection, as you can see. Yeah, so not that great because they're tacky. They're not in ear in any way. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I won't be using these earphones, of course. Uh, we have the battery here. So we have this 
2100 milliamp battery so hopefully it runs for me for uh, quite a while okay so yeah that's the battery here okay again a few manuals warranty and stuff like that which I'm not really going to get into in this video so let's go to the side okay all these stuff to the side let's get to the actual device itself so pull that back out and it comes with this sort of IMEI information here so hopefully if your phone gets lost or stolen you can just show them one of these things here okay I won't be needing that as well so uh, this is the device as you can see so this is the official SDK UK branded device uh, you see all the key specs here and the, the back cover just actually comes off as it is so it pulls away like that oh so this is actually a dual sim capacity phone so it actually takes two sim cards uh, which is pretty cool so sim card one here, sim card two here and your uh, micro USB uh, sorry your um, micro SD card in there so fill the battery in, pop the back on peel it back, I don't know if this one's going to be satisfying but let's just see okay so Oh no, the feeling of pulling back, look at that, just filled. This is actually, okay wait, so, do they have a, do I have a screw to turn this? Is that the phone or is that a screw protector? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, wait, so I think this is the actual phone. Because I don't know if you can see that. If you can see this here, there's like a little protecting sort of thing on there. Oh, so it is a screen protector. Yeah, so that's a screen protector again. I'll remove that as well off because that can affect my video. So, um, again, just look out around the phone. My 3.5mm head jack. Uh, on the side, it has this volume rocker and this button here where you put it on, and it's already turning on. Okay, so let's just see the phone now. Uh, for the first experience, it doesn't really look like a premium device for the price I paid, $94.99. So this probably looks like a device that will go down in price in the near future. Hope that hope for the best. Uh, so yeah, just wait for it to, to load up. So you can see it says STK. By the way guys, if you're wondering what's making those chirping sounds in my background, it's my budgies. So if you're wondering, that is my pet budgie. So these are the, this is the STK device. Five inch display, full inch display, and it comes with old Android device here. Okay. I probably there's gonna be a new Android device called Android Go. So let's skip all of this in my Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna bother entering my Wi-Fi. Pin uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It feels like there's an Alcatel something, a phone called Alcatel Pixie 3 for £19.99. I got mine for five, for a fiver, £5. But it looks like this. It feels like an Alcatel Pixie 3. Like the, the whole experience, the Android marshmallow and so everything. guys, I just powered this phone on now. And you can see uh, how it is running. I feel like it's all running now. I set up everything on it. And I'm just going to show you now how the phone functions. So you can clearly see how the phone functions. Uh, it comes with this uh, five, H five inch full HD display. Uh, the camera, obviously the first thing which I want to show you guys. Um, let's see if it's really a 13 megapixel camera. Yeah, the camera is, is pretty nice as you can see. Um, I'm just going to show you the picture of the box like I always do. So again, STK8, so let's just see. Okay, uh, the camera is good in a way. However, um, it's not that great, okay? You'll see in a minute why. It feels like it's Android Chinese branded sort of phone, which is not really good, and I'm not really a big fan of that, those type of devices. But you can see that it's very dark, it doesn't show the colors efficiently. Um, the text pick, 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 it are picked up pretty nicely, but apart from that, it's not really a nice phone. The lag, there's not really much lag under the phone, which is, which is impressive. Um, but that could obviously be because obviously it's running an Android 4.0 Marshmallow device. Uh, it comes with this typing thing here. Again, very old uh, version of Android, 
but uh, I'll actually be reviewing, you know, games on it and stuff like that. So does it? Can it handle these like graphic auto, for example? Can it handle that game? You know, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, of the unboxing of the um, of the uh, STK Life 8 8 gigabytes version. And uh, if you want more videos on this, then don't forget to leave a comment down below. Uh, if you want a review, I probably will be making a review, but I'm not too sure on this device if I'll be making one. I most probably will. Uh, but just leave a comment down below to just tell me what you think about it. Have a nice day, guys, and subscribe.